हाय एवरीवन वेलकम टू टुडे सेशन ऑन आईबीपीएस प्रीलिम्स मॉक टेस्ट 19 पेपर एनालिसिस ऑन क्वांटिटेटिव एप्टीट्यूड सेक्शन सो हियर फर्स्ट फाइव क्वेश्चंस आर बेस्ड ऑन फाइंडिंग द मिसिंग टर्म सो 2 4 11 37 मिसिंग टर्म 771 so please see here here difference is 3 here difference is 7 here difference is 26 so if you see here 2 into 1 2 into 1 2 plus 2 4 into 2 8 plus 3 yes or no into 1 into 2 11 into 3 33 plus 4 similarly next would be 37 into 4 148 plus 5 152 uh, 153 153 is the answer then question number 37 24 becomes 12 so divide into 0. 0.5 into 1 into 2 it has to be into into 4 0. 0.5 double 1 double 2 double 4 4 double 8 am i correct but is it satisfying it is not satisfying it is not satisfying so this is not the logic 24 into 1 24 24 minus 12 12 into 2 24 minus 12 12 into 3 36 minus 12 similarly here 24 into 4 96 minus 12 would be 84 so answer is going to be 84 into 1 into 2 into 3 into 4 it has to be into 5 84 into 5 420 minus 12 which is 408 now question number 38 2 12 it is very clearly 1 square plus 1 1 square plus 1 3 square plus 1 1 square plus 1 3 square plus 3, 5 square plus 5, 7 square plus 7, it is 9 square plus 9. So, answer has to be 11 square plus 11, which is 132. Now, question number 39. 3, 8, 15. So, if you see the difference here, it is 5, here it is 7, here it is 9. So, here it has to be 11, here it has to be 13. 13 odd number differences 24 plus 11 35 18 into 1 18 into 1.5 27 into 2 54 into 2.5 so it is the 108 plus 27 108 plus 27 how much 135 135 so 135 is the answer option d is correct Next, a shopkeeper sells every item at the profit of uh, 42 rupees. If the selling price of a bat is uh, 322, 322, and the cost price of a ball is 102, find the overall profit percentage earned on selling a ball and a bat. So, 322 minus 42 is how much? It is 280. 280 is the cost price of bat and 105 280 plus 105 is 385 385 is the overall cost price and on every item there is a profit of 42 overall profit is 84 84 on 385 is what percentage if you observe here here it is 17 uh, no how much how many times it is you can say 84 385 20 is uh, 3 plus 5 8 8 plus 8 16 35 11 is 35 2 is so what I can do here 25 is 520 is sorry I will do 520 is with what I can divide here 735 is 755 uh, 712 is 
सेवन ट्वेल्व जा सेवन फिफ्टी फाइव जा सेवन फिफ्टी फाइव जा नाउ फाइव इलेवन जा फाइव ट्वेंटी जा नाउ टू फोर्टी बाई इलेवन टू फोर्टी बाई इलेवन इलेवन ट्वेंटी वन जा टू थर्टी वन ट्वेंटी वन नाइन बाई इलेवन परसेंट सो ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट नेक्स्ट राहुल इन्वेस्टेड फॉर टू मंथ दैन The time for which Karan invested. Karan invested in the same business. If Karan invested, Karan invested thirty five hundred for thirty five hundred for ten months. Uh, find the money invested by Rahul such that the ratio of annual profit is uh, uh, annual profit of Karan Rahul to Karan is nine to seven. So nine by seven is the profit ratio. Profit ratio, and it is given that. Uh, Rahu, what Karan's investment is thirty five hundred. Karan's investment is how much thirty five hundred for ten months. Rahul's investment will be how much for twelve months? For twelve twelve months. So you'll get X year how much? So if you see here seven five hundred za. So it is uh, how much three three za, three four za. Right, seven five za. Am I correct? Three four za. Three four za. Three three. Sorry, three three za. Three four za. Three three za. Now, how much you are going to get? Four into two point five. So twelve fifty into three, which is three seven five zero. Three seven five zero is the answer. Now next question number forty four. Question number forty three. Present age of two friends, Veer and Rohit is in the ratio seven is to five. Arun is ten uh, years elder than Rohit. Ten years ago, ratio of Veer to Arun is six is sixteen is to fifteen. Find the present uh, age of Rohit. So it is uh, see present ten years ago ratio of age of Veer, age of Veer and Arun is sixteen is to fifteen. So ten years ago, Veer would be how much? The present seven x ten years ago seven x minus ten seven uh, x minus ten. And Rohit is five x. Arun is five x. Uh, Arun is five x plus ten. And ten years ago, Arun would be five x. This ratio is given as sixteen by fifteen. Sixteen by fifteen. If you simplify this, how much you are going to get? You are going to get x as how much six? X as six. Find the present age of Rohit. Present age of Rohit is actually five x. Therefore, five x is how much? Thirty years. Answer is thirty years. So option is C. Now question number forty-four. A man went to market with x rupees in his pocket. He spent fifty percent of x on groceries and one twenty rupees on lunch. And x by fifteen on desserts. So total money left with him is four hundred rupees. Find the amount. Find the amount spent on dessert. So here see. So he spent x by fifty percent means x by two. X by two, and then one twenty, and then remaining x by fifteen. Okay. So what you can say. He is left with four hundred. Left with four hundred. This total amount is x. So from this, what we got? X by two plus x by fifteen. LCM is thirty. So fifteen plus two seventeen x. So x minus seventeen x by fifteen would be seven. Uh, how much? Seventeen x minus. How much here? X minus seventeen x by thirty is equal to how much? Four hundred plus one twenty five twenty. So thirteen x by thirty is five twenty. Thereby I got x as four forty into thirty, which is twelve hundred, which is twelve hundred. X is twelve hundred. Find the amount spent on dessert. On dessert, how much is spent? X by fifteen. X by fifteen is twelve hundred by fifteen, which is eighty. Which is eighty. So answer is eighty. Option D. Kaushal invested eight hundred rupees at simple interest for two years. 
if he had invested this amount at compound interest at the same rate, he would have received 32 rupees more. 32 rupees more. Find the rate of interest. Find the rate of interest. So, if R percentage is the rate of interest, here 2R would have been 2R would have been the interest for 2 years. Okay. And it is given that Kaushal invest and if the interest is how much the uh, R percentage in two years the compound interest is 2R plus R square by 100. Okay, the difference between them between these two is how much R square by 100 which is given as 32. Okay, so R square by 100 is 32 thereby Please try to understand clearly. Kaushal invested, it is for two years, it is also for two years. So, otherwise, directly I will apply formula. Thereby, it will be very clear to you. See, there is some uh, what principal amount? Amount is length of simple interest and compound interest. The difference between them for two years is 32. No, if he has invested same amount, the same rate of interest, he will receive 32 more as interest amount. So, the difference is P into R by 100 whole square which is given as 32. Now, <coughs> you, have, you know P value 800. R square by 100 square is 32. So, how much you are going to get here? 100, 100 cancel, 8 fours are. So, R square is equal to 400. You will get R as 20. So, rate of interest is 20% per annum. 20% per annum. Next, an amount of 4,004 rupees is distributed in the ratio 4 is to 6 is to 3. The difference between the share of person who got highest and who got, who got lowest. Highest is 6, lowest is 3. The difference is 3 parts. 3 parts out of 13. 3 parts out of 13 in 404, 4004. So, how much you are going to get here? 13 3 is 39. 13 30 is 390. 390. The remaining is 10, 4. 13 is 3 into 308. 3 into 308 is how much? 924. So, answer is 924. Answer is 924. The difference is 3 parts here. Highest and lowest. Out of 13 parts. The total is 4004. Next, 47. Arjun can complete your work alone in 12 days with the help of Tanya and with the help of Tanya in 8 days. So, Arjun can complete the work alone in 12 days together in 8 days. So, Tanya alone, this is Arjun alone, Tanya alone in 12 into 8 by 12 minus 8, 96 by 4 which is 24. So, Tanya alone in 24 days, Arjun alone in 12 days. Find the number of days Tanya need to complete 75% of work. To complete work, 100% days work, he require 24 days. To complete 75% of work, he require 18 days. Okay. 6, 4, 3, 4, 25, 3, 25, 3, 6, so, answer is 18 days. Answer is 18 days. Next question number 48. While traveling in opposite directions, two trains of equal length cross each other in 5 seconds. If the speed of trains are 72 and 40, find the lengths of, find the, calculate the lengths of the trains. Lengths of the trains. Two trains of equal length. So, if the length of each train is L, the distance covered by them would be sum of the lengths of both the trains which is 2L. It is equal to speed into time. Both are traveling in the opposite directions. 72 km per hour is same as 20, 25 into 4, 20 meters per second. One is 20 meters per second, the other is 40 meters per second. So, speed into time is 5. Thereby 20 plus 40, 80, 20 plus 40, 60, 60 into 5, 300. So, length of each train is 150. Length of each train is 
150 meter. 150 meter. Now next question number 49. What is the probability of selecting a black king? Total 52 cards. So how many black kings are there in uh, spades and clubs? So it is two out of two. You have to select one. Two C one by fifty two C one. Two by fifty two, which is one by twenty six. Option D is correct. Next, a sphere and a cube have equal surface areas. What is the surface area of a sphere? Surface area of a sphere is four pi r square. Four pi r square. And cube, uh, cube. What is the surface area of a cube? It is six a square. Six a square. Then find the radius of sphere to radius side of cube. Side of cube. From this, what you can say r square by a square is equal to six uh, six by four pi. Four into twenty two by seven. Right. It is nothing but r square by a square is equal to how much seven? How much you are going to get here? It is uh, how much? Twenty uh, forty two. Forty two by forty two. It is three times two three zero two two zero man. So it is twenty one by forty four. So r by a r by a is equal to root twenty one. Root twenty one is to two root eleven. 2 root 44 under root means 4 into 11. 4 under root means 2. 2 root 11. So answer is option A. Answer is option A. Then 51 to 55, you have a table uh, which shows total number of students in 11th class of five different schools A, B, C, D, E, and ratio of number of students in arts, commerce, and science respectively. Total number of students in each school and The ratio of students in arts, commerce, and science. Students study only uh, the above given subjects in class of each school. Now, question number fifty-one. What is the total number of uh, science students in school A, B, C together? Science A, B, C. So it is three uh, by six. Three by six means half of half of two forty, which is one twenty. And one by ninth of four fifty is fifty. And C is three by twelve of three sixty. One fourth of three sixty is ninety. So one twenty plus one forty is two sixty, which is the answer. Now question number fifty two. What is the difference between the highest? What is the difference between the highest number of art students in any school? To lowest number of commerce students, lowest number of commerce students in uh, any school. If you see here, highest number, highest number of art students you can see here, seven by ninth of four fifty. Seven by ninth of four fifty is highest number of art students. Highest number of art students. Seven by nine is the largest uh, fraction out of any. One by six. Seven by nine, five by twelve, two by ten. Out of all these, seven by nine is the greatest. So seven ninth of four fifty is three fifty. And the lowest number of commerce student, lowest numbers of lowest lowest number of commerce student means uh, how much? The first one A, it is the uh, two by six, one third, one third of two uh, forty, which is eighty. Second one, one by ninth of four fifty, fifty. Third one, four by twelfth of three sixty. One third of three sixty. One twenty. It is half of one eighty. One ninety. It is four by ten. Two by five. So it is how much? Four by eleven. Now four by eleven of three thirty. Which is how much? One twenty. So which is least here? Fifty is the least. Fifty is the least. You need to find the difference of three fifty and fifty. So answer is three hundred. Answer is. Three hundred. Question number fifty-three. It is known that twenty percent of students got failed in class ten in school C. In school C, and out of those who passed, ten percent have left the school. 
find the total number of students that was in class 10th in the school C given that no student joins in the school in 11th class in 11th class please observe here what is given the total number of students in 10th class is not known let it be some x 20% of students got failed and the remaining would be how much 80% remaining would be 80% of x out of this 80% of x 10% left so 90% of this are going to remain okay this 90% of this remaining is is given as 360 from this 90% of 80% is 72% if 72% is 360 then 100% of x is 500 so x is 500 x is how much 500 so answer is 500 then question number 54 question number 54 if the ratio if the uh, ratio of medical to math students in both school a and school e school a and school e is 7 is to 8 then what is the difference between medical students of school a and math student of school e science branch of each school has only medical and math students okay so if you see here science students it is given the ratio is 7 is to 8 right 7 is to 8 so please see here the ratio of medical to math students in both school a and e is 7 is to 8 then what is the difference between the medical students of a and math students of e so here it is how much 1 by 11 1 by it is e in e it is how much 1 by 11 in e it is 1 by 11 of 330 which is how much 30 so the now here now here see it is in the ratio 7 is to 8 now now math students math students math students in e is how much 8 by 15 of 30 which is the 16 which is 16 similarly school a school a how much 3 by 6 3 by 6 of 240 it is 120 number of medical number of medical students of number of it is math okay number of number of what number of math in e we have calculated now medical in a we have to calculate medical in a is how much 7 by 15 of this 120 am i correct the 7 by 15 of 120 is how much 15 eggs are which is 56 now we need to find the difference of these two 56 and 16 difference is 40 so answer is option c then question number 55 commerce students in school d commerce school students in school d is 5 by 10 half of half of 180 which is 90 is what percentage more or less than commerce students of school b commerce students of school b is 1 by 9th of 450 which is uh, uh, 50 90 is more than 50 by 40 40 by 50 is how much percentage so answer is 80 percentage answer is 80 percentage now quantity based question see here 56 sum of first and sum of first and second number sum of the first and second number sum of first and second number 2 by third what is given sum of the first and second number 2 third of first number 2 third of first number is equal to cube of second number cube of second number yes or no 2 third of am i correct 2 third of first number 2 third of first number so from this 2 third of first number is equal to cube of second number and second number is equal to 12 percent of 100 12 percent of 100 means 12 only 12 cube is 1728 
thereby n1 would be 3 by 2 of 1720h which is uh, how much 1725 plus half of it which is uh, how much 2592 2592 so n1 is 2592 n1 plus n2 sum of those two 2592 plus 12 which is 2604 it is 2604 quantity 2 this is quantity 1 okay quantity 1 is 2604 quantity 2 is 2352 1 is more than 2 now next the time taken by the police to catch the thief you need to find out a thief robbed his shop and ran a car at a speed of 60 km per hour at 11 am the police located the position of the thief and ran after him at 11.15 in 15 minutes he already traveled for 15 kilometers right because his speed is 60 uh, maximum speed of the car of police is 65 km per hour so 65 km per hour so now how much time will it take so how much it is 65 or 60 please see here the relative speed both are traveling in the how much time it will take time is equal to relative distance by relative speed relative speed is difference 65 minus 60 so it takes 3 hours it takes 3 hours yes or no so it takes 3 hours to catch the thief it takes 3 hours the time taken by the police to catch the thief is 3 hours the relative distance is 15 and 65 minus 60 is uh, 5 so answer is option E here option E here this is 3 hours this is also 3 hours Fifty-eight quantity 1 4 quantity 2 if you see here value of x a b c started a business together 12 12 age, age investments b worked only for x months while c left the business x months before the completion of a year if out of annual profit 3200 a got 1800 a got 1800 so please observe here please observe here a b and c a's investment 12 12 and 8 12 12 and 8 12 12 and 8 are the investment a is there for 12 months b is there for x months and c 12 minus 6 so you can say here 12 12 144 so cancellation with 4 i will get how much 36 is to 3x is to 2 into 12 minus x okay and here what is given it is given that the 36 parts is how much 36 parts is 1800 36 parts is 1800 am i correct 36 parts is 1800 a got 1800 out of annual profit total annual profit total annual profit if 36 parts is 1800 the remaining is how much the remaining is actually uh, in total how much 60 plus x okay 60 plus x is uh, 60 plus x is 3200 3200 so i can say 36 by 60 plus x is equal to 1800 divided by 3200 if i simplify this what i am going to get it is uh, x is equal to this is 2 18 za this is 2 32 za so x has to be 4 x has to be 4 so x the quantity 1 is 4 quantity 2 is 4 so option e is correct next 59 59 value of x the time taken by the boat covering x minus 18 kilometers upstream is equal to time taken by it for covering x kilometer downstream and if the speed of upstream is 6 kilometer less than uh, what the graph downstream the graph downstream so downstream speed minus upstream speed 
is given yeah. as 6 kilo meter thereby from this how much you are going to get uh, here it is given that boat, speed of boat in still water is 15 so 15 plus x minus 15 minus x 15 plus y y is the speed of stream speed of stream so 15 plus y minus 15 minus y is equal to 6 from this i got y as 3 y as 3 2y is 6 y is 3 now you got the speed of current y directly you can substitute here so x minus 18 by upstream 15 minus y x by 15 plus y so you can say x minus 18 by 12 is equal to x by 18 6 2 ja, 6 3 ja. so 3x minus 2x thereby x is equal to 54 so it is 54 it is 50 one is more now question number 60 price at which the price at which p sold p sold watch to q P sells is what a 20 percentage to Q, a 20 percentage profit to Q, while Q sells it to R at a loss of 10 percentage, R pays 2160. Uh, so if you see here, price at which P sold to Q, you need to find, find out. So it is P into 120 percentage, Q sells it to C at a loss of 90 percentage, which is uh, 2160. So now you can say uh, like 90, two zeros, two zeros cancel, 12 lines are 108, 108, 20 are. So P's cost price is 2000. And it is 20 percentage profit means 20 percentage of profit is how much? 2400. So this is 2400, this is 1600. So which is greater? Quantity 1 is greater. Quantity 1 is greater. Now next, we have to, next one. We have a case here. Please, uh, Akash, Disha, Malik, owner of three different shops in Karnat Palace, six and discusses their monthly business. Each of them pay a rent of 1.2 lakhs for their shops. The respective ratio of salaries given by them to workers is 4 is to 5 is to 6. 4 is to 5 is to 6. Profit. Profit for everyone is calculated after deducting their monthly rent and salaries of workers from the total revenue. Highest profit was earned by Disha, that is uh, 5 lakh 20 thousand rupees. Revenue of Malik is 120 uh, percent of revenue of Akash. Akash gave a salary of 48,000 to his workers, and his profit was 1 lakh 88 thousand less than less than that of Disha. And if you observe here, Akash salary is given as Akash gave a salary of 48 thousand rupees. 48,000 rupees. So, 4 is to 5 is to 6. Okay. Akash, Disha and Mal Malik. Salaries. These 4 parts is given as 48,000. Then 5 parts would be how much? 60,000. 6 parts would be how much? 72,000. This is the first understanding. And profit of Disha. Highest profit of uh, highest profit was earned by Disha, which is five lakh twenty thousand. <laughs> five lakh twenty thousand. Five lakh twenty thousand. So out of five lakh twenty thousand, out of five lakh twenty thousand, and it is given that profit of Disha is five lakh twenty thousand. And uh, Akash profit was one lakh eighty-eight thousand less than that of him. So it is three lakh thirty-two thousand. This is 
profit of disha this is profit of akash now revenue of disha revenue of disha would be how much 5 lakh 20000 plus each of them pays a rent 1 lakh 20000 Plus sixty thousand profit. So how much it is total? It is seven lakhs. Revenue of Akash three lakh thirty two thousand rupees profit and uh, forty eight thousand rupees three lakh thirty two thousand rupees profit and forty eight thousand rupees salary and one lakh twenty thousand rupees rent. Yes or no? Rent. So all together it is how much? Five lakhs. And revenue of Malik. Revenue of Malik is how much? It is given that revenue of Malik was one twenty percentage of revenue of Akash, which is one twenty percentage of five lakhs, which is six lakhs. Okay. Now profit of Malik. Profit of Malik would be total revenue six lakhs minus minus uh, salary is seventy two thousand salary is seventy two thousand yes or no salary is seventy two and rent is one point six lakh minus seventy two plus one point two one point nine two which is How much? It is four point. Sorry, four point zero eight lakhs. Four point zero eight lakhs. Please see here now questions. What is the difference between Revenue of Disha and profit of Akash. So seven minus three point three two, which is nothing but three point six eight. Next, profit earned by Malik. Profit earned by Malik is how much more? Malik is four point zero eight. Is how much more than salary given by him to his workers? So four lakh eight thousand minus seventy two thousand divided by. So it's asking simply difference. Difference is asked. What is difference here? Three lakh. Thirty six thousand sixty three revenue earned by Disha is seven lakhs is how much more or less than Akash five lakhs seven more than five by two two by five means how much forty percent next sixty four profit earned by Disha. Profit earned by Disha is how much? Five lakh twenty thousand. Is how much percentage more than revenue of Akash? Five lakhs. It is twenty thousand on five lakh. Twenty thousand on five lakh is how much? It is uh, four zeros. Four zeros cancel. One by twenty five. One by twenty five means. Four percentage. So answer is four percentage. Now sixty five. If the revenue of Akash is increased by sixty percent, now Akash is actually Akash is five lakh one sixty percentage of five lakhs, which is eight lakhs, and he increase salary of his workers to one lakh. Salary is one lakh. Now his profit. Profit would be how much? Eight lakhs minus salary and rent. 
8 minus 2.2 is 5.8. 5.8 lakhs. So answer is option B. Next, 12.25 under root is 3.5. 3.5 into 18 is 63. 63 minus x square is equal to 36 plus 2, 38. So, 38, 63 minus uh, 63 minus 38 is 25. So, x is 5. So, answer is 5. Next, 1250 plus 1725 is 2975 divided by 825 plus 365, 1190. So, 2975 by 1190. How much? 1190 double plus half 2.5. So answer is 2.5. Next 25. 25 by 4. 4 4s four are 4 4s four are. So 25 into 4 100. 100, 100 is equal to am I correct here? It is 25 divided by 4 into 6. 4 into 6. Okay. Is equal to x percentage x percentage percentage two zeros cancel three so six twos are twelve x is twelve point five x is twelve point five now sixty nine twenty six into fifteen is how much three ninety three ninety plus three ten seven hundred seven hundred minus two twenty five seven hundred minus two twenty five is four seventy five 700, 475, am I correct? 390 plus 310, 700, 700, 475, 475 is equal to 25 percent of how much? One fourth, one fourth of x. So 475 into 4 is how much? 1900. Now question number 70. So 8 into 25, 8 into 25 is 200, 200 plus 1225 is uh, 1425 plus 150 1575 1575 am i correct 1575 plus 150 plus am i correct or not see here once again 825 is not 200 825 this is 9 now 925 is 925 is how much 925 is 225 225 plus 1225, 1500, 1500 plus 1225 plus 225 is 1450, 1450 plus 150 is 1600, 1600 is equal to x square, thereby x is 40, x is 40. So this is uh, end of today, today's quant paper discussion. So repeatedly practice. And if you practice more and more, then uh, what will happen is your comfortness will increase and uh, your ability to appear, uh, ability to attempt more number of questions will come. So here uh, the thing is, now whatever the tests we have done till now, so the same pattern you can see mostly in your examination. So go to your examination with confidence and uh, uh, like whatever the questions you know write them correctly and if you have any hesitation like uh, some answers are coming uh, and some answers are not coming then in that case do not you know attempt any wrong question okay so whatever the questions you are sure of those things only you can attempt for attempt if you have if you have any hesitation whether this question may be wrong or right just skip it and go to the next question. Like that you have to follow. Okay. Thank you so much.